Hello. I just wanted to talk about seizures and epilepsy. So I am passionate about talking to people about different types of epilepsy and helping people get clear about what type of seizures they have. Personally, I have gone so many years with not being diagnosed correctly, and that is a problem that I know a lot of people have. So I wanted to talk about some of the more unusual types of seizures because I didn't realize I was having simple partial seizures for 14 years and it was really detrimental to my physical, mental, emotional well-being. Really bad. And so I just wanted to talk about the difference of what a partial seizure is versus a psychiatric situation. So I have many mental health issues regarding depression, anxiety, etc. that is largely affected by my seizures and my epilepsy. And I've had epilepsy for 22 years. I was diagnosed when I was 12 and I was diagnosed with just generalized epilepsy because I had a tonic-clonic seizure. I have had over a hundred tonic-clonic seizures and probably thousands of partial seizures, but nobody knew that I was having them because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't know what was going on. And I had no idea what or who to talk to, like what to say, because it's a very strange experience to have certain partial seizures. So there are simple partial seizures and there are complex partial seizures and simple partial seizures you do not have any change in awareness or consciousness complex partial seizures you have a, a change in awareness so that um, an example is uh, people will do the lip smacking or autom automatisms they're called and they will have like a they won't remember the seizure usually goes on for a minute or two simple partial seizures you have full consciousness so you remember the whole thing and you you actually you know you experience the whole thing but you also remember it so personally I found that uh, surprisingly the simple partial seizures which are shorter for me than many people's complex partial seizures are actually really intense and so I really want to help other people learn about the types of simple partial seizures and to help you determine if you have simple partial seizures versus psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. The basic difference between the two is that psychogenic non-epileptic seizures are a type of seizure, they still call it a seizure, but it's non-epileptic because what happens is, is that it's not a rhythmic misfiring in the brain. So the rhythmic misfiring is what is um, an epileptic seizure. So there is an experience that is, it's confusing because a lot of people have both. A lot of people with epilepsy have the psychogenic seizures and they have partial seizures and or tonic-clonic seizures, but many people experience both. So sometimes if you tell a doctor or psychiatrist what you are experiencing, they think that it's not epileptic but sometimes it is and sometimes like I said you're having both so it's very important to learn about this information from people other than just your doctor because they don't necessarily have the best and most up-to-date information about types of simple partial seizures that are unusual so you may not realize that you know you're having something that is something that could be helped with seizure medicine that's the main thing there's no judgment about whether at least on my part, about whether it's psychogenic or whether it's an epileptic seizure. You know, our bodies are our bodies, our brains are our brains, it's neurological, it's psychiatric, it's all very connected. And um, the thing is, though, is that they're treated differently. So psychogenic seizures are not necessarily helped by epilepsy medication. The only time it would be is if you take something that is, like, calming, because sometimes people have the psychogenic seizures due to, um, you know, a psychiatric condition that might be helped by a particular epilepsy medicine. But in general, the simple partial seizures, those will respond to epilepsy medicine if you respond to epilepsy medicine. 
because not everybody does. But if you are going to respond to it and you do take it for the partial seizures, especially the simple partial seizures that I'm talking about, then you actually have the possibility of them stopping. And if you try to treat it as psychogenic, where you treat it with um, psychiatric medication and or therapy, because that's one of the main... Um, when I've read about psychogenic seizures, they talk about how basically all you can do is work on, you know, psychiatric health and do things like talk therapy. And I tried that and it didn't help. So the point is that if it doesn't help to treat it as a psychiatric condition, such as many psychogenic seizures are, then it's important to realize that it is epilepsy and that you need to take an epilepsy medication to stop it. It's very important, in my opinion, to stop the simple partial seizures if they are um, at all difficult, upsetting, traumatic for you. They are totally that way for me. So uh, that's very important. I'm also going to do a video on the types of simple partial seizures. That is the difference between psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and simple partial seizures.